It's terrible, that's all it was to it. I never have been in anything like this before. When the house was shaking very badly and the, the fans were going back and forth, it hit. And it sounded like a train went off the noise they ever heard. All night long, it basically sounded like World War III between propane tanks, oxygen tanks, tires, gas. The house is just blowing up. We don't have no insurance. No kind of insurance, fire or flood. How lucky I am that people are here to help me that don't even know me. Each year, natural disasters destroy billions of dollars worth of property in the U.S., leaving many homeless with nowhere to turn. The Samaritan's Purse is prepared to respond to a variety of disasters in North America. Whether it's a tornado hitting the midsection of the United States or a hurricane battering the coastline, our response teams are ready for action. The mission of Samaritan's Purse Disaster Response is to help disaster victims who fall through the cracks, those who don't have insurance, the elderly, and the poor. Amen. The ministry uses teams of volunteers and supplies them with the tools they need to help the hardest hit pick up the pieces of their lives and start anew, all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. When we respond to a disaster or a storm, uh, we're able to take with us many types of equipment from uh, our bobcat that helps us with our large items, our trees and mud and things of that nature. We also have our tractor trailers that are equipped with um, all types of tools from chainsaws to wheelbarrows to pressure washers, water pumps, anything that can be used to tear apart a house or put it back together. You never know what you need on a disaster, and day to day it changes. Uh, one day you may do chainsaw work. The next day all you're doing is uh, leaf work or repairing roofs, or maybe you're helping somebody uh, repair plumbing where trees come down in the middle of the house. So they have all this on-site material ready and available at a moment's notice is fantastic. It doesn't matter where you are or where it is that God's called you to go. When he calls, you have to go. Everybody always feel like you go to give something, but you always get so much more when you go home. You're, you're, you're receiving so much more in return than you'll ever give out. Out here to serve the people is just nothing better. Samaritan's Purse relies on volunteer manpower in order to react to a crisis. The core of these volunteers are from local churches in the affected areas. There are a variety of jobs a volunteer can pursue, we not only need people to help cut down trees or clean out houses after a flood, but we need people that can help in the office to take information, to answer phone calls. A person that's been through a disaster just needs someone to listen to them. From cooking meals for work teams to carpentry work, everyone can chip in as volunteers on disaster relief teams. A couple of people in a day can, can clean out a yard like this. A couple of people in one afternoon can put plastic on a roof. It's one house at a time. It's one family at a time, one life at a time. And every life is important, every family is important. It's hard to comprehend the grief associated with tragically losing your home. Samaritan's Purse assists those having to cope with this grief. Ministry teams help meet spiritual and emotional needs. Trained volunteers provide encouragement, listen, and pray with those overwhelmed by the effects of a disaster. What we do, uh, when the churches go out to help the people, the volunteers, uh, they uh, start helping with the physical need, but during this time, they start building a relationship with the victims of the storm, and it gives them the opportunity to help meet the spiritual need as well. We'd like to give you and Miss Kathy both the Bible. We've all signed them. You know, not only do they share their testimonies and say how Christ has worked in their lives, but you know, as they finish the job, all the volunteers sign a Bible and they have prayer with the homeowner. Father, watch over them, protect them, and bless them. And we thank you for what you have done. And it's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. We have seen people make decisions for Christ on the side of the storm, and they're able to reach out to the, to the church and, you know, receive spiritual growth. I appreciate everyone. And thank God for sending people like them around. Thank you very much for helping us. <laughs> we really need it. You all came right in time, and I can say I really appreciate that, and thank God for you all. I believe when people are hurting and they're down in the ditch along life's road and you stop and you help them, they're going to listen to what you have to say. And what a wonderful opportunity we have to share the hope 
that we have in the Lord Jesus Christ. Samaritan's Purse uh, needs your help. And I'd like to challenge you to be involved with Samaritan's Purse as we share the Lord Jesus Christ with hurting people around the world. God bless you. Thank you. We need your help. I'm Franklin Graham.